In this video, we'll find the formal charge for each element here in HCO3. This is the bicarbonate ion. It's also called the hydrogen carbonate ion as well. So first thing, we have this Lewis structure here. We think this is a good Lewis structure. And by calculating the formal charge for each element, we'll be able to determine if this is the best Lewis structure for the bicarbonate ion. So let's do this. We'll do the carbon, and then we have three oxygens, but they're all different. This is just a single bond. Here we have single bonds, but a hydrogen, and here we have a double bond. So let's do this. Let's call this one, two, and three. So we'll calculate formal charges for each oxygen. For the carbon, carbon group 14, sometimes called 4A, four valence electrons, unbonded. All of the electrons for carbon, they're involved in chemical bonds, so we don't have any unbonded. And then one half of the bonded, two, four, six, eight. So we're going to just put eight over two. That gives us four minus four, zero. So the formal charge on the carbon here is zero. You could write it in like that. For oxygen number one, let's call this oxygen number one here. We have oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. So it'll have six valence electrons, unbonded, two, four, six. And then one half of the bonded, this is the chemical bond between the carbon and the oxygen. These are shared electrons. They're in a bond. So we have two of those, two over two. Six minus six is zero, and this is minus one. So we have minus one. So the formal charge here on this oxygen is minus one. For oxygen number two, we have six. That's the valence electron because it's oxygen. It'll always be six. Then we have unbonded two four, and then bonded, we have the double bonds, which has two, four electrons divided by two. Six minus four is two, two minus four over two, that's just zero again. So the formal charge here on the double bond oxygen, that'll be zero. Finally, for the last oxygen here, what we're calling oxygen three, six, because it's oxygen, unbonded, two, four, and then bonded to four. So we have four over two. And again, we end up with zero. So when we look at our formal charges, everything is zero except for this oxygen right here with the single bond. That negative one, that makes sense because our ionic charge is one minus. So this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure here for this bicarbonate ion because the formal charges are as close to zero as possible, still matching the ionic charge for the ion here. So these formal charges for HCO3 minus, they tell us we have a very good Lewis structure here. If we move the double bond here on this oxygen, oxygen number three, the formal charges wouldn't work out as favorably. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for each element in HCO3, the bicarbonate ion. Thanks for watching.